Good luck. Let me take a look and see if he wrote any kind of special message. I heard a lot of comments. Good luck yet. Uh, do, do, do. So, yeah. Should be fun. Um, given that he said beer swinging rook player, this is probably not the right opening to start with. But, you know, we can still have some fun. Uh, actually, I've been curious. We're going to discover something today, even if it kills us. Why is this not played? So, I mean, we've seen a lot with, like, central foul rook versus third foul rook and how third foul is uh, tending to be more aggressive play. What I don't think we've looked into is bishop exchange in combination with central foul rook and all this stuff. So I am curious how this will play out. Um, okay, so... <sighs> how crazy am I feeling right now? I don't feel like doing temple loss bishop exchange. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling crazy enough to completely abandon right side castling. We're still going to do it. But for a moment there, each game I'm pausing a bit to think about whether or not I want a castle left and if I could come up with a castle with a third file pawn already advanced. I know it's doable, but it does not look easy. Um, so building a solid castle will probably involve just going to the right here. Um, so... One advantage of having played this particular shape is that bishop 5-5 five five is not going to land on my position. Um, so this means some of the more aggressive third file options are off the table at the moment. Um, I realize I could try to build on Aguma. But I'm going to build half Mino and then perhaps expand it out to full Mino. Could be interesting. So uh, for newer players, what that means is I'm going to bunch my generals up next to my king to guard all the squares right next to it. Also, I'm going to push this edge pawn so in case things do go south, um, my king will have somewhere to escape. But pushing the edge pawn is not always the highest priority. Higher in priority might be actually breaking this shape here, if there's some way to do it. But I'm not sure which of these pawns I want to advance next, so we're going to continue building Mino this way. Even though this does have its a weakness that, like, the opponent could start fighting down the same file. Um... So it's been said before that to assert an advantage with central foul rook, I need to push the center pawn up one more square uh, before doing anything too aggressive. So, so far I've been doing a little bit of... Uh, I don't know if cat and mouse is the right word, but uh, it's been doing a little bit of a waiting game to see if they'll exchange the bishops, or if there's a position where it would be favorable for me to offer a bishop exchange, or if they're going to put this pawn between the bishops so that neither of us can perform this exchange. In which case, I don't need to push the central pawn right away. Um, but could actually do something crazy. But I'm thinking probably they're just going to push this edge pawn and I'll push the center pawn until I can come up with like which one of these I want to advance next. There are advantages to having the center pawn pushed. Um, um, 
So last game I never got to push my edge pawn, and it did bite me in the butt later. So I know this is kind of odd for this opening, but I'm going to push the edge pawn. I think I have time for that. All right, and now I'm debating, do I really, like, this is my big moment. I could do this exchange. It would still lose a tempo, but um, I don't know. Not sure. Or I could close the center and pretend that my attack is faster, even when it might not be. We don't know if it's faster or not than my opponent's attack, although I suspect it's not. Um, if I push my third file pawn, I'm afraid of bishop drop ideas, but there aren't so many left to be afraid of. So maybe that's what I push next here. Um, it does block my bishop from anything too aggressive on the second file. So many options. Still debating where does my rook belong. If I push the center pawn, the problem is they push this, and then they end up taking this one over here. Um, it's kind of hard to deal with that. If I push this, this creates a hole where they can just drop the bishop after an exchange. Well, no, they can't right now. Maybe this is right then. Alright, so they finally blocked the diagonal so I don't have to. I could if I want to, I just don't have to. Um, This should be interesting. So, so far they've led with their pawns. They do need to use their other pieces at some point. Of course, the risky side of this little venture uh, is that um, if this line does open between the bishops tactics will emerge, and we'll have to do a lot of reading. Um, but I think it'll work out. So I've unblocked my rook to the left. So uh, next I am still considering pushing the center pawn, moving the silver up right behind it. But also, I could tuck the silver over here. I don't have to play this by the book. Although, if I put the silver here, that really limits the room for me to put a gold right behind it. Um, so that could be unwise. 
Um, yeah, so right now this is flexible, but after my next move, uh, my options will be severely limited. Uh, so choose wisely. Um, Yeah, so we're going to go back to my... Uh, I, I've had a lot of fun games where I've attacked on the third and second files. The disadvantage of pushing this right now is that my bishop can no longer take on 2-6. Or I guess uh, looking at... The, well, you can't see the move list, I don't think. Maybe you can. Uh, so this says pawn 7-5, so here this would be 8-4. So yeah, my bishop can't take an 8-4 anymore. Uh, I think that's fine. Hmm. Well, I can't really decline this, can I? And their big idea is that the rook can withdraw, and then a pawn can go on this square. Um, so when the rook withdraws, it makes a threat to drop the pawn right there. Uh, that's not saying the rook's going to withdraw right now, but soon it will. Uh, I mean, yeah, they could place a pawn here, and that gets interesting. Well, why am I even allowing this? I don't know. If I put my pawn here, I don't have a pawn in hand. And that does annoy me, but um, yeah, I'd like to know where the rook's going to go. And I don't want it on this rank for very long. Um, right, so this rook will eventually get in the way of me operating on this rank here. Um, unless I do something aggressive right now. Maybe that's what we're doing. It looks kind of interesting. So my idea is I'm going to move the rook and then bring the gold up right behind my pawn. Um, I think this rook withdrawal might not have been to the correct square. Uh, but he might argue I didn't. I don't have time for the maneuver I just started here. Um, well, this is interesting too. So if they are threatening to advance this, pawn takes, knight takes. I have one piece that can hit this square other than... Well, if the knight takes, the knight's pinned. They've got to do something about the bishop first. My time is limited. Um, but... Yeah, let's get the rook on an open file. And then I'll make room for my gold to go up. Um, I understand that this knight would very much like to strike the square. And I understand this is a common formation, but usually the bishop's over here on the edge file by now. So this is a bit slower. It's blocked the bishop. I don't think he really intended all the consequences that he's brought upon himself here. Uh, so now, I mean, as much as I'd like to ape what my opponent just did, well, that's interesting. So, uh, I push. Uh, they can kick my rook, but they cannot block my file again. Not with my pawn, anyway. If I just wait a move, they'll put either general here, and I can't push my pawn anymore. Um, so, if I want this pawn to move, it's got to move now. Which denies me a chance to move my other pieces first. Um, Uh, 
Yes, I want um, my pawn off of this file. Next question is, where does my rook belong? I think my rook actually belongs here. It's slightly strange because like they do have a threat to bring the silver storming directly toward my rook. And the only way I can really block that is by pushing pawn 5-5. Five five. Or I don't want to push pawn 4-6, but or 6-6, six six, but um yeah, if the silver moves up, they might think I might have to push pawn 6-6, six six, but uh, my bishop might be able to take here at some point. Um See, a pawn 5-5 five five seems merited, but um, actually, does this silver climbing up actually do anything? Not that I see. This position is getting more and more complicated by the move. I could push 4-5, pawn takes, pawn drop, silver moves. Pawn push, I've broken the file, but haven't really achieved anything. Let's buff my castle a bit while we wait for the opponent to strike. All right. So they say that when this pawn's attacked is the right move, is the correct time to move the gold. It's not my pawn's not attacked yet, so the timing's not right. Um. That said, like, where else is my gold going to go? Maybe the timing is right. Yeah, let's get this played. Um... Hmm. I have some ideas. I'm not saying they're good. But some ideas are better than no ideas. Hmm. Pushing this pawn doesn't have the effect I hoped for. Um, Okay, we're finally playing this a thousand moves too late, but that's okay. Um, it's actually still effective. The idea is we can advance the silver and push on the sixth file, and then just threaten to silver takes, takes, takes all the way down the diagonal. Um, Of course, that's optimistic, but it's a plan. What's his plan? I mean, yeah, building Yagra is a strong shape. Um, I had some idle threat or ideas of like putting my bishop on six six or even breaking this file open. Um, I didn't think my opponent would help me with that. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, actually this is interesting. Possibly I misevaluated something here. I can't give up a silver. That's not great. Um, okay, we'll just take this and see where we end up. Pausing not because I didn't see that, but because I have ways, I have plenty of options here. <sighs> Offering a bishop exchange looks best. Um, Actually, it doesn't. This is the other main idea I had in mind. That I don't see a convenient way for him to meet this. And it is the thematic move here. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be attacking. I want to attack the castle, but it's actually pretty well defended. I sense that I must have missed some tactic here somewhere. So pawn five five's the threat. The idea that I can promote and then use the fourth file as a lever. Um, if my silver moves, my rook can swing over and threaten to promote over here. Their castle is vulnerable from the side. Maybe I should... Uh, I don't know if attempting a rook exchange is a bad idea. It might end up being forced at some point.
There's the tactic. All right. I knew I was missing something. So if I take the newbie bishop takes here, my rook could be hanging. Um, so we're going to uh, take this way to escape things instead. Oh, actually, my bishop's hanging. Uh, that's not great. But my bishop can just run to this diagonal. No, can't. The square's not defended. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where my bishop's going if he just attacks it. Um, hmm. That's a problem. Because if they attack, if I run up here, okay, yes, they can just take the knight, but I'm trying to line up some kind of threat, any kind of combination, so I could win a tempo somewhere. But just keeping the bishop on the diagonal and giving up the knight's not great. And burying it in the corner, trying to munch through all these pawns is not any better. Um, okay. Did not see that as a combination here. Um, how does he continue this attack, I wonder? It's clever. <sighs> it blocks my rook. I don't like leaving this here. Because it becomes a lever for other pieces to enter the position, but I don't see pieces that can actually go there profitably. Uh, he's getting a knight soon, though, so that could change very soon. Um, hmm. This is very sub-ideal. Uh, well, I don't like that the knight's being given away, and I'm prone to forks basically everywhere, uh, and my pawn still can't promote without being lost. Okay. Uh, well, no, if my knight moves, I lose the bishop. Never mind. Uh, I was going about to try something desperate, but it's not called for here. Um, okay, let's give my pieces some room to operate in. Alright, so now that um, oh, I had some point I was going to make, let me just make my move. If 
there was some reason I thought I couldn't do this earlier, and I think I can do it now. I'm not sure what that reason is. I think I hallucinated that somehow bishop takes a uh, pawn or bishop here or something was threatened more. Oh yeah, here it was. Yeah, this thing. So after I exchange these silvers, uh, my rook has to move. It either goes up and gets trapped, or it goes to the side and promotes the pawn. And if it goes to the side, now my bishop has somewhere else to move without being immediately lost. Um, that's it. I might want to hold on to the bishop for a second. So yeah, there's, I put two pawns in the way of my bishop, but at least this one's threatening to promote now. And if the rook takes it, the diagonal opens, and maybe something positive comes from all the chaos I've induced. Um, we're just trying to make this game exciting. And it's more exciting that this horse is not swarming all over my position, so... Let's enjoy this how it is right now. Rook takes gold might be an idea, but probably he's going to put something between the rook and the gold. If he puts the silver anywhere around here, then my rook threatens to go back and snap the pawn. But he might do rook takes, and it might be safe. Or it might be unsafe to do rook takes. I don't see a threat on my part, but just speculating here. Okay, what? What does that threaten? They always have a plan. I don't see their plan right now. I mean, yes, this long diagonal was great, um, but there is more than one diagonal on this board. So maybe I can make other threats. It might be difficult. Oh, that's a clever fork. Well played. There is conventional advice of don't run from a fork, but I think I can add to that advice. Don't walk into a fork. Um... So yeah, if you have a way to move, and if you had another way to move, and one of those ways gives up heavy material to a fork, maybe pick the other one. Um,
30秒40秒 Yeah, I'm thinking. It's unfortunate thinking time is limited. 50秒Uh, this feels crazy, but I don't know where else to attack. It's a million miles from the castle, but that's closer than a billion, so let's start here. And if the rook moves up, the silver moves up. And uh, we can continue attacking. If the rook retreats, as it should, um, then we find some other way to attack. So yeah, if bishop takes, my silver can still climb this way. In some lines I can consider a sacrifice here and a silver drop there and fun stuff might still happen. So, you know, we still have hope. Also, my rook could maybe support this pawn. All right, just trying to trap my rook. Probably succeeding. Um, It's probably okay. We just need to get on with our attack. Not worry too much about other stuff. Sanchi have to attack somewhere, right? If my rook's doing no good, then what need do I have her for a rook? <sighs> Not a sack I want to make. 
but when I think I have to. There's a fork. My bishop's still not that great, so I guess it's useful that I'm getting another bishop, but still. What a Pyrrhic victory. I had to give up a rook and a bishop to get... Well, no, I didn't need to give up my bishop for this, just a rook. And my best pawn. That's a really useful pawn. I wish I had another pawn in hand. That's not where I wanted to put my bishop, but places I wanted to put it are kind of off the table right now. I did consider some sacks to try to make those other places work and didn't really find a way, so this is what we end up with. Um, Okay, that does block a square my knight would like to use. Am I really going to take the lance? Am I that predictable? I think the answer is yes. Pretty sure the answer is yes. Knight drop here could be interesting. His knight could use the square. Let's take it. And if I could force this pawn to move, like I could do a pawn drop and try to get this out of the way, we could promote the other bishop. Um, hmm. Well, there's the proverbial fork in the road. Um, I think we're going to stick with the plan that I'm just talking about right now. As much as I'd love to try to like make a decision between promoting a pawn this super far from the king, or maybe being able to collect the lance and escape the corner in one piece, um, we're going to try something different called attacking the king. Um, this might catch my opponent by surprise that I'm actually attacking. Yeah, I don't like this. Well, it's not comfortable. Um, but Shogi's not an easy game. The bishop does him basically no good breaking my castle down, so I can't really be too afraid to give it for whatever he'll give me for it. Um, he should probably just ignore it, though. I think his problem is that I can block this file with a pawn.
yeah, he's going to have to break my back rank, which shouldn't be too hard, but he's got to do it. Um, hmm. Hmm, he's got diagonal moving pieces. This is not ideal. We just need to have faith in my attack. This is why we pushed the pawn forever ago. Is that we're going to survive whatever he throws at us and try to throw something harder back at him. Um, that was the idea. I'm going to stick to that idea. Oh, hang on. If I move that, rook takes is kind of an issue. Hmm. What do we do? Gotta start running. So the idea is if he takes here, maybe I take the silver, and if Rook takes, then maybe I've got something. Alright, so I have to block this check. We're going to block it in the way that gives my king the most freedom to run in the future. It's not a lot of freedom, but we'll take every step we can get. Oh, I see. Okay. Um yeah, this is not looking good for me.
30秒This is a castle uh, I've formed before in other games, and it's actually surprisingly hard to crack. Um, even with a rook this close by, um, you need the right pieces to break it. And I'm not seeing how he breaks the castle. So this will buy me some time. Either I'm going to manage to run this way which he can only cover both these squares with the bishop, or he's going to cover the exit and then chase my king. Or he's just going to suggest that I run, and maybe I do. Um, like, if he throws a gold right here, maybe I take it. All right, um, I didn't see this. So threat is a gold on the head. Um, man, I'd like to use my pieces to attack. All right, so basically this puts my attack at a standstill as I try to survive his attack. And I'm not surviving it, but I am buying myself some time to move the knight one more turn, or one more time. Um... If the knight is a step closer, then maybe I have some realistic chances of a mating attack working. But until then, I don't. So we're going to try to survive. Um, okay, I have one legal move. I should probably play it. All right, I have run out of moves. I can do silver takes, and then that ends it. Well played. Good game. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that marks round two of this tournament. Uh, let's see. Let's allow everybody to comment again. Ah. All right, well, thanks uh, for the game. Obviously, folks are free to chat either in 81 Dojo as we do post-game analysis or wherever you choose that you're most comfortable chatting. Sometimes I do like to put this on the big board, um, but frequently when I do, folks on 81 Dojo start adding comments instead of doing it in our live stream chat, so... I have to switch the board back. Um, so yeah, we built this uh, half Mino. Um, I did not do this bishop exchange, and we had this temple lost bishop exchange on the table for some turns. Uh, eventually, I did manage to play pawn 5-5. Five five. Uh, I've moved my gold up before it was recommended to do so. Normally you wait until this pawn's attacked to move this up. Um, but I didn't see any other constructive move in the position. Um, there's always a useful move in this in every position. So like, maybe this is playable. Um, and I'm not sure if I do play this, like I've kind of blocked the diagonal and he might try to start using it again um but also this makes room for my silver and then i can push this pawn up maybe this needed to be moved at some point this probably didn't need to be moved um 
So let's see, what else is there? Oh, I did consider this um, sack. This is just no good. Um, so obviously he does promote, but I think of greater concern is this fork, which I did not see until, uh, I don't know, some number of seconds into my Bioyomi here. Uh, so yeah, the sacrifice just loses buckets of material, so I had to back off and play this instead. And at this point, like, if I try to trap the bishop, uh, it just goes back here, and this is threatened next. So uh, my bishop's not really well placed here. Um, so that's why we picked uh, this in the game, to try to get some activity out of my bishop. Um, not sure if there was something else I could have done. Like, my rook is blocked thanks to the silver. If I push on uh, the second file, this pawn's really not going anywhere, because they built Yagara. Yagara's hard to break from the head. So really, my rook needs to be on the other side of the board, but that can't happen because the silver's in the way. Uh, and this is why we can't have nice things. Um, so the other thing is maybe this, but I didn't see any point to doing this first. Um, uh, yeah, because now it's his turn, and yeah, I didn't see any point to this. So we opted for this way of doing things instead. Um, maybe I did get greedy here. Maybe at this point I need to, like, back my rook away and offer it for the horse or something. Um, that way I can double back here and maybe make some threats someday, but um, it looks pretty passive, I think. So he's got this immediately. Uh, I didn't really see that working. So we played this. Um, yeah, again, so I looked at something like this, and this didn't look any good either. Um, is there anything else I could have tried? I wonder. If I try to hit this horse, like, my castle collapses, so I think I'm out of options here. I think I have to run back, but this just lets my opponent continue attacking. This seems like a really slow but solid move. Um, like, this is the tempo I've been waiting for. And I failed in the heat of the moment. Um, Maybe there should be something I can do here. Can I sack this? Is this of any use? Um, now that I'm threatening to maybe go here. This could have been interesting. So if I push this pawn, I don't know that they're taking it, but potentially this could have been something to look at. Um, hmm. I'm trying to find if there's some other attack they can do here. Like, they could just take my knight. Um. There might even be some idea like this. So, yeah, this position might not be super great for me, but it's something. I don't know what I'd do with the knight. 
I mean, it'd be nice to have an attack on the king, but this is not the right timing for it. Um, like, just a knight by itself is not going to have a very strong impact. See, I'm not sure. Um, as always. And then we took this pawn. So, candidates... Uh, stuff like this. Um, taking the pawn... I don't know. Had an advantage that it kept this horse stuck in the corner. Had a disadvantage that, like, I have no potential for a long-term growth here. Yeah, this pawn is the menace to my position and needs to go, but another pawn just joins the position. And I don't know that I can do much about this. Um, hmm. I'm looking at, can I like somehow hit this rook? and build an attack, but I think I'm just too slow. Uh... I mean, there's some merit to this, but now what? Yeah, maybe this is fine. Maybe this is what needed to happen. I mean, we're starting to talk about the transition from end, uh, middle game to end game, so this is the point in the game where um, just consult your favorite engine if you're looking for a lot of ideas. At least some of those ideas will be right. Uh, yeah, sacrificed a ton of material to get this fork. It didn't work out. Um, Maybe I don't even want the fork. I'm not sure what I want here. My bishop's uh, in a sad position. Yeah, I don't know what I want here. Um... It's just a tough position, and I think part of that stemmed from what preceded this. There might not be any way to save this at this point, but... Uh, there are ways to make the game interesting. Yeah, sacking all my material like that was probably not my best move. Or if I were to do this, maybe this has to be thrown in too. But this just gives him time to do something. Anything really, and then the fork's not there anymore, so... Yeah, Yagra is hard to break, and I didn't get a Rook. And a Rook is, like, the one piece I know how to use. So, uh, I'm still working on uh, Sume and being effective with other pieces. But right now, a Rook is my favorite piece. A Gold is a pretty great piece, too. Um, and we'll learn how to use all the other pieces in due time. Uh, good game. Uh, Pawn Hub likes this move. Interesting. Maybe there's something to this. Yeah. Oh, I see. This finally frees up my rook to move. And uh, my favorite piece can actually do something now. Um, it's still a sad position, but there are ways to improve it. I don't have to give up my rook. Yeah, I felt pressured. Maybe part of this is I do need to work on my time management. I just also feel that um, I've played a lot of speed chess. And um, I've seen a lot of other people play speed chess. And one thing you see is people just throwing positions in order to try to stay ahead on the clock. 
And Shogi has this benefit that you can actually spend time thinking about every move instead of trying to be ahead on the clock. Um, so that's why I budget my time the way I do. I try to spend my time. Um, but I'm always in time pressure. But at least I'm not throwing positions intentionally. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to work on my time consumption. Oh, same idea. I see. But with this pawn removed, yeah, we have more options. That's good. That doesn't necessarily mean the silver is going to go right there. I mean, there's other places to put it, but yeah, this is that makes sense. Cool. Back out, see if I've missed any other comments here. Um, no, I think uh, we'll conclude the post-game analysis with, yeah, it was an interesting game. I'm sure there were a lot of ideas I missed um, in each phase of the game, but that's why we play against strong opponents. So again, uh, thanks to Zbinek, uh for this game.